Welcome back to the Crimson Metal Show. This is your host, Glenn Flansworth. I'm here with my boy, Chad, Chad Slane from, uh, <laughs> from Chode, 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 Chode Slane from, from Spinal Cross. We were just talking about uh, Chodes, and uh, I just got, got on the wrong track. Anyway, we just listened to uh, some Spinal Cross. That was Filthy Hot off of their album, Filthy Sweet Hot. Sweet song. Yeah. So, uh, Chad, how's it going? We, we we can't hear you. Turn your mic on. Oh, man. It worked 
this thing. There, there you go. go. Hey. hey, what's up, Chad? So, buttons, man. It's just like, and I feel like Te- every time I go off the air, if I leave it on, that people will just listen to me talk, which. I mean, Which honest, is not possible because that's amazing if they were listening to me I, talk. I, I turn that everybody off with the with the one button. You turn me off, that's for sure. I know. I'm not. I'm not a very sexy. But man. I just turned myself on. No, so seriously, I was on standby. That's like a literal. Y- thing. You were quite turned yeah. on listening to your track there, though. Yeah, yeah. I, so I'm sticking uh, the energy. So how it, how is Spinal Cross these days? Uh, right now we're uh, taking a little bit of break just because. Uh, we're in the process of possibly trying to recruit a new rhythm guitar player. Our, our old guitar, guitar player requi- retired at the age of 109. Yeah, that happens. He was uh, still uh, rocking out. Yeah, you, you're never hey. too old to rock, right? Never too old to rock. Yeah. That's right. I think that's a song title somewhere. I don't know, man. But I know that God put rock and roll in you. He did. Yes. He did. Thank Deep you, in Petra. the souls of everyone. Thank you, Kiss. Yeah. It is definitely Kiss. Now, uh, <laughs> last time we talked... We talked about uh, you recording some uh, some new tracks, and I was going to help you out, and we see how far that's gotten. Well, it's because you never invited us back over, and you still have <laughs> because uh, we because st- I still have not edited those you're drums. Still, you're still, I, I, you know, and here's the thing: I told I told Hodge I was like, we should have just had me edit these drums. Uh, because I mean, I, I knew you were gonna. Ha- you, I mean, no offense, Clint. I knew you were gonna have. Some, I knew you were gonna have a struggle with them. Well, no, it wasn't. It's not your forte. It, it it is not my one. It, yeah, it's not my forte. And two, I just haven't had the time. I've got I've got these two other bands that I was supposed to do drums for and stuff. And we, <laughs> ha- Glenn's we, backlogged. Yeah, we we started we started working on that with Kevin back when. Back in the day, you back, just need to send those files. I think over that me. was. I think hey. that was also in January as yeah. well, and and we haven't gotten anywhere with it because, guess what? School happened. Hey, school's out for the summer. Well, not for another five weeks for me, and uh, then and then no, on I mean, top not of me it, either. my school goes on like all year basically. Pretty much, it's you like never get out semi year round. Yeah, and then on top of it, I'm taking a statistics class just as soon as I graduate next month. Why the heck are you doing that? Well, because the graduate program requires that I have a statistics class. Statistics show that if you take statistics, that you get into graduate programs more often. Yeah, that's probably a fact. I don't know. I would, I would have to do some research on that using my quantitative reasoning, my quantitative research methods. That's what do true. statistics say about pinch falsetto singing? That uh, apparently you uh, can sing longer. It was our was the consensus of our prior discussion off air. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, you did a little bit of that on American Idol, eh? I was on American. You Idol. You were on American Idol. Yeah. Tell us about American Idol. We have an American Idol in the studio. Yeah. yeah. I didn't win, so I mean, technically, that wouldn't make me the American Idol. I well, mean, I like to think that I'm, you know, you're my the American, American Idol, Chad. Well, I mean, we can all aspire to be such. I know. Uh, yeah, I was on American Idol with uh, Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey and Keith Urban, and they, they just, uh, you know, I made it there and got it through all three rounds, and they finally just said, hey, you're too rock, man. What like, did what did you sing on the show? Like, how many songs? Uh, the first song I sang was uh, ACDC, uh, just because I just felt like I, I would do well at, uh, well at it, so I sang... Back uh, in Black? Highway to Hell. Sweet. I, I'm, I'm, I'm more like a, I'm more of a Bon Scott than a Brian Johnson. Okay. And then uh, I sang a second song. Uh, the sec, the second during the second round, I forgot what I sang, and eventually, I uh, we settled on the Quiet Riots. Uh, uh, Metal Health. Nice. So they want to see you on the Facebook Live, there, Chad. Get on there, Chad. They want us to get get closer. Boom, boom. I'm only gonna put my. You guys have to hug. Here. You get close. We have to get in there and go. So, so, bro, hug. So, Chad, Yay. so, Chad, how you doing? I'm doing good. How, how you doing? Shit, huh? dude, yeah, uh, good, my facial good. hair doesn't look like yours. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had that facial hair like not very long ago. Like, uh, I shaved it off though because I was doing some interviews and I felt like that that would, you know, no offense, make me seem like that, uh, I might be a biker or a truck driver or a truck driving biker. I could, I could see that. A bike I driver. Could see that. Sure. Why not? Glenn well, does look like a truck driving biker. A truck driving biker. I'm just. I want to get it longer so that I can put a rubber band in it and then get the uh, the Viking thing going. Yeah. I just guarantee if something happened and the news was there to interview someone, you would be the one they would pick. Yeah, and then I and then I'd get on the news and I'm like, Well, you see, I was I was just minding my own business. You know, get the most illiterate redneck sounding uh, uh, interview going. Hey, well, not all rednecks are illiterate. It is gutter boy. 
When I was outside cutting up bike tires with my grandson, when out of nowhere, 40, 100 police vehicles came booking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, pre- that's pretty good. That's pre- well, that's that's because you're, you're from El Reno, and it's just kind of in your blood, right? I don't know about that, man. I mean, <laughs> usually the police stay out of our town. Uh, well, no, I, I'm talking the Reno police. I'm talking the accent. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm talking the, the country hick accent. Uh, yeah, maybe, I guess. I'm, I mean, you know. Well, tell us about El Reno. What makes El Reno so popular? Uh, we have onion burgers. I think we discussed this last time I was yes. on the show. We definitely, we definitely have onion burgers. Uh, heard the bank first. Now I heard that 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 festival there <laughs> were. We have a, oh yeah, we do have a bank first. It did not get canceled. That it was didn't. A rumor. It, it, it was, was a vicious <laughs> rumor. That was a vicious rumor. Now, okay. if uh, if our mayor was listening, he would say that he saved it. When in reality, he was the one that defunded. And then uh, there was a public outroar, and he said he saved it. Okay. So uh, that's 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 the beauty of a small town. But hey, if you live in a town long enough, you can convince people that. Uh, you know, you're a good guy. I wonder if he is listening. I doubt it. Now, now, Chad, uh, I, I think we talked a little He's bit. He's a nice guy. I'm just saying. We talked a little bit lost. about last time about you running for uh, for office. What? Yeah, I ran for state representative. I got really close. Yeah? I got really close. I wonder if she's listening. Anyway, but uh, <laughs> the person that beat me. Uh, yeah, I got really close, you know, but. Uh, you know, sometimes being honest, you actually uh, went into a runoff, if yeah. I remember correctly. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I lost about I think 100, maybe 150 votes. Wow! Vote. So we got really close, but I guess being honest and uh, you know not telling everybody what they want to hear that makes it hard to win. But I actually do have a friend that's in this area that's uh, I work with. His name's Jacob Rosecrans. He's a uh, he's running for uh, office for this district for state representative because they're having a. Uh, a special election because Scott Martin's uh, not going to be there. And I don't know if it's if this falls into it, but I know m- most of Norman is that district. And yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's my. That's my. I think that's my district. I'm I in the town. Yeah. It's like yeah, s- Scott Martin was. Yeah, <laughs> my and he, representative. He's, <laughs> and he's stepping down because he's going to be like the chamber of commerce for this area. It's like, uh, like he's going to be the head of the state chamber of commerce. So Jacob Rosecrans and somebody else is for sure running. And then they they might probably they'll probably primary him when it gets there. Yeah. Special elections usually have a lot of people. Just imagine if uh, you know maybe some of the guys from Hindu come back and they live in this area. We can elect one of them. And then that'd could, be that'd be pretty nice. And then I wouldn't be the first rock star in as state representative. One of them would be true. Or, or what about Wayne from Flaming yeah, Lips? Yeah, is he yeah. isn't he running for governor? Isn't oh yeah, I hope. Is not. he from this area? He's from Oklahoma City. Yeah, yeah, but that wouldn't be this district. But yeah, he could run for governor. Yeah, I, I don't know. That would be. They have a stri- street after him, so obviously, they well, do. it's an alley. But you yeah. know, obviously, he has some clout. I mean, if you get an alley in Oklahoma City, that basically makes you, it makes you a god. It, it makes you something. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, you know, a deity, but probably not. I right? don't know. Maybe, maybe if one of the guys from Hanson. Yeah, you know, that might, would yeah. be great. There they they can Taylor, move to Tulsa area. Bust it out, buddy. <laughs> now that's the girl one, right? <laughs> 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 All right. We well, do have a lot of, of men that look like girls that we're playing tonight, though. Yeah. Because it is Hair Nation night that's, on that's right. on the Crimson Metal Show. Well, let's uh, let's play another song. All right, this next song is for the ladies. For the, the fellas, ladies, you listen close to. All okay. right. Here I'm, we go. I'm it's called turned on. It's called Bulletproof, so I'm not sure exactly how that Oh, I didn't know you were playing one of my songs. If I had known that, I would have said something else. All right, this next song <laughs> is for hopefully all the police officers out there oh, because I want you guys to be safe. <laughs> and uh, normal people you can you can listen closely to. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, welcome back to the Crimson Metal Show. I'm your host, Glenn Flansberg, and uh, that was Bulletproof by Spinal Cross. So uh, 